Well, 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 hello everybody. It is your boy Apathy back with a brand new tip video. Yes, you heard it here first. And we're going to be talking about a brand new setting that was released not too long ago. And this helps you basically aim better and shoot better. And yes, I have been using the setting for a couple weeks now, or a little bit less than a couple weeks, but it's just so awesome and so amazing. So we're going to be talking about the specific settings. And we're going to be talking about why I use it and why pro players are using it and why it's so dominant. And you can just tell from my precise shot. Other reasons, you know, I am a pro. I do have a good shot. But this setting absolutely helps me snap on people and be very, very good with my freaking aim, uh, baby. Now, when they first released this game, it actually wasn't a setting that was in the game. So you couldn't change it right away. And we're going to be talking about the aim curve. Oh, he was dead if I if I didn't run out of ammo. We're going to be talking about the aim curve type settings. So now if you go to settings really quickly and you go to controller, you can see over here, aim response curve type. And yes, I play on dynamic. Now, this setting is really, really good. And I recommend you to try it. It's not for everybody, but I think if you can control it and you're pretty skilled, I think this will make you even better. Linear pretty much sucks. And some players like to run standard still. I think standard in this game is a little bit better than it was in MW. I remember in MW, I would praise and praise and say how freaking good dynamic is because it was night and day. Like you, it was a lot better than standard in mw but in this game they're sort of both even dynamic just does something a little bit differently and to explain it very quickly and very briefly basically what dynamic does it it speeds up very fast at the start of the stick movement and then it slows down a very little bit more towards the middle and then it speeds up again very fast at the end so basically if you want to whip your stick around it, it it moves it very fast full speed ahead type of thing so this is really good for snapping people and never really getting caught off guard. You can easily hit kind of like scale a little crack with it, you know. It allows you to kind of be a little bit more loose and be more precise when it comes to this. And some people correlate this with having more aim assist. Does dynamic give you more aim assist in the game? It feels like it does a little bit, but it's not the same as MW. MW's aim assist like improvement with dynamic was actually absurd. It was a notable difference. In this game, it feels very little bit, but it's not its not like only about the aim assist. It's more so why we use it. So if you're ever in a very mixy situation and you're trying to like slide around and just kind of snap on people and never really get caught off guard, that's where dynamic helps you. And it allows you to kind of, you know, go get at your full potential. If you can control it, if you can be precise with it, then you will snap on people. You will dominate people that they won't expect you. And you can say, you see, like, I'm not really missing a bullet. I'm kind of like just going around and just that f the ability for it to like go really fast, slow down a l like midway of it. So it, you sort of, you're able to control it for a second and then it speeds back up so you can snap or shoot at people. It's just so good and it's very underrated. In this setting, you should be using it, man. I'm telling you, a lot of pro players are switching to it now and some of the best players in the world use this setting. Some of the best, including me. So in this game, it hasn't really been said much or talked about much, but I highly recommend for you to use Dynamic. Please try it out. Please use it. If you get used to it or you think you control it, you're going to love it. You're going to see, you know, you guys probably wonder why, like, sometimes when I'm playing the game, I look so cracked out and I'm PCing and I'm getting a whole bunch of kills. Like, kill him. Oh, kill him. And I'm, like, really precise on my shot. And it looks like, might look like I'm hacking. Might look like I'm aimbotting. Might look like I look kind of insane. And, you know, I am good and I am controlling my, my sticks and my sensitivity, but I think dynamic also helps a little bit with that. Capiche? Capiche, my friends? So, enough shooting the bots. Um, Because the bots don't have the best movement and they're kind of easy to shoot. We're going to go into a... Pro no, not a... Pro We're going to go into a public game. And I'm going to show you guys just, like, in the mix and everything. We're gonna go Let's go to some Nuketown. And I'm just going to demonstrate it for you guys to talk a little bit more about it. So keep watching the video. You don't want to miss out. I'm going to give a little bit uh, tips with dynamic and show you guys why it's so dominant. All right, guys, we loaded into some nuke town holiday. The Christmas spirit's still here, even though it's no longer Christmas. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas with the family, friends. And something you notice when I slide cancel, I'm very loose with it. I always slide wide and get ready to snap on people. Um, I feel like I'm able to do that a little bit more consistently because of dynamic. See how I snap on that guy very precise, very quickly. And I don't play on the fastest sense, guys. I play on 6-6, which is 
It's fast, but it's not that fast. Now, basically, when you're in certain like mixy gunfights and you're you're kind of all over the place. Oh, nice little three piece there. Kind of lucky, I guess. And you're kind of all over the place and they're just surrounding you and there's like everywhere and you gotta like precisely hear your shots. Sometimes it isn't always easy. Like to to be fast with your aim stick and move. But dynamic, you know, pretty much allows you to do that. Dynamic allows you to move very quickly and like recenter or snap on people. And it just allows you to be a little bit faster, which is great. Now, I'll be honest, I was a little spe skeptical. I was gonna say spectacle. <laughs> I was a little skeptical at first when I switched to dynamic. Um, I, I, I had a good feeling like dynamic or Sanders was actually really good in this game. And it's like, is there really a need to switch to dynamic? That was kind of like, I was questioning myself. And I played against, like I said, some of the best players in the world. And I, I was always, it was always in the back of my head, like, do I want to switch to dynamic? I'm not really sure. Like, standard feels good. My shot looks great. Why would I switch to something when I don't need it? It was kind of, I, my head was kind of in that place. And I decided to, you know, I'm like, some of the best players in the world use it. They have to be using it for a reason. And I realized this potential when I switched to it. It is really, really good, guys. So when you're playing the game and you're kind of maneuvering around the map, you got to make sure your centering is on point. So whenever you're maneuvering or wherever you can see someone, you got to be centering. Now there, he's kind of preempting me. It's all good, though. Can't win them all. So why you why you playing? Like, it's not, and it's just not Nuketown. It's just maps in general. And see how, like, I was centered here? And with Dynamic, I quickly went to my right and snapped on that guy. Like, that's where Dynamic comes in hand. That, that's what allows you to excel, you know? Basically, what I want you to do in practice whenever you're playing the map and playing, like, any map, I want you to try to focus on your centering and, make, and making sure your centering is good. Because if you have good centering, that's where, like I said, Dynamic would excel. So right there, I'm able to get this kill. And now I'm going to center here. I saw a guy here. Now I'm going to center here. I'm skipping a little bit. It's all good, though. Probably my PC lagging, kill this guy. And this is not good, but I'm alive so far, so I'm doing something right. Snap on that guy, snap on that guy. And you can see, as soon as I turn around the corner, my centering is on the door. What I gotta do is just aim in, baby. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I don't think I'm ever going back. Got a little bit of a taste of dynamic. Now I was questioning at first, and I told myself, if I end up not liking it, I'll just take it off. That's what I told myself. And you're going to be just like me. You guys are going to switch the dynamic. And you're going to end up loving it. And you're just not going to switch off. Because you're going to realize. That damn. This thing is really good. Dynamic is really good. You're going to you're gonna think to yourself. Why did I switch to dynamic quicker? <laughs> seriously. Uh, like I'm seriously. You guys are going to think that. Counter UAV. My harp. Why? All right, guys, that's it. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, especially if you watched the whole thing. You guys are the most appreciated. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below anything you want, even if it's apathy. Hi, apathy. I love you. Anything. Seriously, guys, thank you again. Make sure to check out my other videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.